Okay, I've got some extender on my uh, piece. I've got it on the red elements mostly. I've mixed a color which is our, our basic color with some black added and then I added our, our uh, toner to it. It looks a lot like the dark shade so it's pretty much that's pretty much what it is. So I'm going to bring it out on my palette and I just want to side load this filbert but I want to dress my brush in some glaze medium because I want it to stay over on the one side get out of my palette okay I'm going to use the straight glaze medium for this so palette blend it and I'm trying out uh, my new bridge that I got from Tammy so let's experiment here I'm putting my my arm resting on the bridge and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to stroke in the shade I think I don't have enough um, on my enough paint on my brush. Let me get a little more paint on my brush. A little bit of moisture. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here and blend it some more. I'm getting some bleed over. So, put some more glaze on there to stop that from happening. Alright, so I'm going to come down here and paint in my shadow. Bridge is pretty cool. I like it. Okay, now I'm going to move it a little bit ways and I'm going to do this scroll. Now, I might get off camera sometimes. I'm going to try real hard not to. But sometimes I do because this the piece is longer than my camera angle is wide. So let me reload. Okay, now I'm going to wind my hand up. I'm going to start down here where I wanted want to end and I'm going to pull up and wind the brush up to where I want to end. Here we go, one more. And I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to unwind my hand. And lifting up on the brush as we get thinner. Okay. Now, let's see. Come over here and I'm going to do the outside of this petal shape following strokes for our shadows and it's okay if your line is harsh because in this type of painting the lines were traditionally left as lines you know that they, they they weren't blended okay and get a little more paint the paints a little bit dry it's been sitting in my palette for six weeks and I put some water in and reconstituted it last night but I think I could still go make it a little more liquid alright I'm going to do this scroll so I'm going to start down here and wind up my brush <laughs> make sure I start it with the paint on the right side of the brush okay set down and unwind my hand And I see we've got another scroll to go right here. Let's make sure that we're clear. Let's see. Alright. I'm going to roll up. I've got some little thingies 
laid out here. Okay. Wind up my hand, set it down, and unwind. It makes these scrolls so much fun. To reload. It usually is a good idea to reload with every stroke you pull. To make sure that you have enough paint in your brush every time. Okay, I'm going to come to this one. Here we go. Start here. Wind up my hand. Okay, and I've got the paint on the wrong side of the brush, so I'm just going to turn that. Set down. And wind your hand. And pull the stroke. Okay, and with this one, the same thing. Lifting as it gets thinner. Okay, now that's our shaded red elements. Tammy, your bridge is great. It's just the right size. It's just the right height. It really helps a lot. Okay, so I need now to put extender on my next colors. Pull this camera back again. Pull my light down a little ways. And let's put the extender on our yellow elements and go there next. I'm doing this on a piece of uh, canvas paper right now and so it allows me to to uh, brush on the extender and for it to soak down in its little crevices so that makes it easier to make sure that I don't have too much extender on but at the same time you don't you know you, you don't need anything more than a sheen See more than that? Blot it off or work it down into the crevice. Okay, so I'm going to go for our dark yellow value now, which is this one. I'm going to put some, yeah, some burnt umber in my brush and boy, yeah, this do, does need to be more liquid. It's more like a paste today. Let's go over to the palette. Put my glaze in. Get a little more pigment. And then because my paint is dry, I'm just going to put a little bit of extender out on my palette. And then I'm going to tip the pigment into that extender and palette blend some more. Until I get something that's fluid enough to move on my elements. So let's go here. And we'll get the, the uh, shadings for the petal here. And I'm going to just do it without the bridge for my shape following strokes. Okay. 